Hello everyone and welcome back to Splinter Cell. This is episode 10. Last time was the ending episode of the main story for Splinter Cell. We finished everything that was presented to us. However, three DLC missions remain. So these have been available to us since the very beginning, uh, but obviously we were just running through the main story first. Uh, I'm not sure where these take place. Um, in terms of the story, uh, if it's bonus stuff or otherwise, we will have to jump in and find out. I assume we will get caught up uh, with a bit of a briefing to figure out where this place is. But, you know, I'm hungry for more Splinter Cell. We finished the main story and I was already wanting to play more. Thankfully, we have three DLC missions to check out. Uh, so, Zvelka Infiltration is going to be the first one. Let's jump in and check it out. Uh, this one's actually different. We get a loading screen instead of a newsreel for a change. So they they cut out the newsreels. I loved those. We're in Russian. Uh, we're in a Russian location. Now this is where I thought we would be going uh, in the main story at some point, but we went to China instead. But we're in a Russian naval shipyard on the Kola Peninsula, and it's set there. You go January twenty six, two thousand and five. So it is set after the events of the of the main story that's good to know information collected at the cola facility indicates that the cell operating under the command of colonel alexievich has standing orders to capture a russian submarine manufacturing facility on the cola peninsula third echelon monitoring reveals that the russian nuclear submarine zvelka is currently docked at the facility the submarine must be located and alexievich's remaining men must be stopped all right let's continue Let's see what we've got. Let's save ourselves a checkpoint. We've updated your objectives. Your first target is a Russian sailor. We spotted him by drone. We think he's the only shipyard employee left alive. What makes him so special that they let him live? That's what we want you to find out. Okay, locate and talk with the captive sailor. Let's see what we've got. No data, no notes, one singular goal. Uh, we have... Nice. Okay, so we've got a decent repertoire. Um, good. Okay, we've basically got everything. That's good to know. Alright, let's see what kind of trouble we're getting ourselves into. Oh, there's dogs immediately. There's dogs immediately. And uh, that dog has our scent. Okay. Lights that I could shoot out. However... However, I am running under the cover of light and getting myself caught immediately because I am clever like that. So that's exactly how I wanted to play this. By getting myself caught immediately. <laughs> and I'm going to have this, this dog on my tail. I don't know where I am right now. They're coming right for me, so I think they've got a pretty direct sort of assumption on where I am. Show yourself. Yeah. Oh, for some reason he's shooting down that way. Where are you, American? Okay, they don't know where I am. Perfect. So let's just pretend that that never happened because this is our this is our warm up level. You can't hide forever. I gotta warm up. Uh, there's quite a few of them. Where are you, American? I love that they're calling out for me. Damn it, we lost him. That dog, though. Where are you, American? Do they really expect me to call out? Just be like, hello? Now, I haven't got a good read on the area yet. So I'm actually not sure what's going on here. So we've yet to figure that out. I don't think I can... Yeah, we are not tall enough for that ride. Everything's going to calm down and we're going to figure out where we go from here. That dog. I'm wondering if this wall is the answer. Uh, 
Um, wondering if I'm able to jump off a wall onto this tram cart. Train cart, I should say. Like, if I go... Okay, the angle's a bit odd. But, I, I guess it kind of... What I wanted worked? Okay. I mean, that's kind of what I wanted. It didn't work as flashy as I wanted it to, but... There you go. And I only took a couple of bullets to the chest. Perfect. I mean, I didn't even get caught yet. Wonderful. Alright. Is that an adequate warm-up? Who knows? All I know is there's someone in there. Who's out there? Okay. Well, fuck. Can they even come out? I don't even think they can get out. Okay, let's see. I think I'm climbing in the window. That light, is that light protected? That looks protected to me. They're in like their little fence thing. Oh, there's a guy. Okay. Dead guy and a camera. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Who is that? Okay. I had to make noise in order to get here super quick. <laughs> Let's test it and see if we can shoot these out. Yep, they are protected. Okay. This makes things interesting and difficult all at the same time. He's going to go and investigate the foil round. I'm going to knock him out with the airfoil round. Just a flare, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, I got stuck on the... I got stuck. I got stuck on the door. <laughs> I can't believe I got stuck on the door. That's so stupid. I was almost gonna have like this roll past the camera, go up against the wall, and then the camera would have stopped looking for me. However, got stuck on the wall. Okay, all the way over here? Like, are you sure? Do you have to come this far? Like all the way over here. Are you sh are you sh are you certain this is necessary? Was he was he absolutely certain that he had to come all that way? Apparently so. Another flare too. Crazy. Surveillance is showing up. Stop looking at me. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. There's also turret involvement here. That's fun. Just in case. Just in case you you weren't expecting that. Okay. That that didn't do what I wanted it to at all. Well, this is a situation, isn't it? Okay. That's ex that's definitely exactly how I planned it to go. 
Oh god. Okay. A hundred percent how I planned all of this to go. Uh, without a hitch, by the way. Without a hitch. So we've got a bunch of dead sailors. Oh! Why am I making all... I'm making every single mistake. You know, I was really proud of myself in Presidential Palace. And I take a day off. And uh, it's, I've lost all my, my ability. I don't even have uh, first aid kits. I was stocked up on everything except, you know, the good stuff. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes in my time. But luckily, none in this video so far. We have not been seen. Master of Stealth. Okay, everything is locked. Why must why must you be this way? That's a computer that I can interact with. Looks like we're luck picking this door. Data stick picked up from computer. Constantin. The inspectors are not who they seem. The uniforms are stolen. I don't know who they are working for, but they are definitely here to take over the facility. They've got the docks and have secured the outer sectors with some sort of hobbled together automated weapons on tripods. Stay away from those things. One of them cut Yuri to pieces in the blink of an eye. I think they are making a push for the Vzelka in the main berth. Get a gun. Hide. Kill as many as you can. We're in for the fight of our lives and we're probably not going to win. Milos. Your footsteps. Is someone in this toilet stall? No. Be nice if you could hide in it. None of these toilet stalls have doors except for one. Actually, I think there's. <gasps> Who's there? Jesus, scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck. Almost like an optic cable should exist, huh? What's up? <laughs> What's an optic cable again? Sorry guys, I haven't played Splinter Cell before. This is actually the first, this is my first time. This is my first level. Um, so take it easy on me. What? Turn on the light, I fucking dare you. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Hang on. <laughs> no matter how many lights you try and turn off, there will still be more. Okay. They all passed out from the lunch that they all had together earlier. And they did that of their own accord because I have not been seen yet. Alright, I'm locking it in, okay? We're just having a, a bit, of, bit of cheeky, bit of cheeky fun. All right, now we're locking it in. Master assassin, except not a master assassin. Only the stealth part of the master assassin. No killing. Okay, that's a pretty decent spin. That is a pretty decent spin on that old camera there. Good to know. A lot of protected lights out here. Eating like that, you are going to get fat. I can't help myself. My own mother never cooked so well. Maybe you didn't salt her well enough. <laughs> Be nice. Anyway, we need to get back to our patrol. 
Relax. Nothing's going to happen. This is the easiest job we've ever had. Us and our sailor friend both. But dinner is over. Come on, Arkady. Let's get back to our post. What is that? Wow. Spotted immediately, huh? We got a keypad door. Which one of these boys has a satchel? There's one. Oh, okay. I'm going after you. Okay. This is my sailor. He's alive. Oh, that worked. <laughs> uh, everything went as planned, by the way. Like, I just knew that he would open that door and I was just ready to slip right in because Stealth Master, our gracious hosts. Men, this evening's opening ceremonies did not go exactly as planned. Our single remaining host is now critical to our further celebrations. Mr. Bobrov has been uh, inestimably gracious in providing us with unrestricted access and I would like the three of you to take special care with him. In other words, don't kill him. You may beat him within an inch of his life, but no further. Though I am reluctant to give you this information, the door code to the cafeteria freezer is 310, and this should provide a good holding cell. Please stay out of the vodka. We may need it to bribe our way past checkpoints when we leave without cargo. Wow, that door code will come in handy. Hello. Barbara. You're not one of them. Quickly untie me. No. But I do have a few questions. You're... You're not here to help me. I'm not here at all. I can't I'm not here at all. If I untie you, it will only mean trouble when the Spetsnaz find you. I don't have much time, and I need to know why you're alive. Oh, God! They killed everybody but you. Why? I'm... Um, I'm a submariner. I operate the broadcast system on the Vselka. She's docked outside. Broadcast system? The submarine has a good communication system. Very flexible. The Azeris are using it to transmit signals north. So how can I get at it? You can't. Not now. They, they keep submarines submerged. So how do you get at it? We radio to the submarine from the compressor control room on the fourth floor. You need a passcode to get inside. I'll bet you know that code. Please, untie me. I'm getting cranky, Bob Rav. The code is 8027. Nice. All right, good chat, good chat. Eight zero two seven. Fisher, you're gonna need to get inside that sub. I'm gonna need it to surface first. We're working on it. I'll get back to you. What do you want? Okay. In and out, baby. We figured out how you can force the sub up. If you deactivate the compressor, you'll only have a few minutes to decide between surfacing or sinking to the bottom and suffocating. Details on your upset. I don't think I'm going to be making any friends on this job. Deactivate the compressor in the control room. Okay. I knew, he would, I knew he would do that. So he's not going to go back out that door, is he? He's going to go this way.
Locked in. There you go. Okay. Um, I'm assuming this is fourth floor. Okay. And it is 8027. Bit of, bit of silly, goofy gaffin. You know, goofing and gaffin at the beginning of this episode, but we're we're ready now. Oh no, okay. Nice. Okay, we're ready for the thermal vision. Ready for the thermal vision. Actually we could probably slip in here. Nope. Okay, thermal vision. That is Three two zero six. Oh shit. Uh, three two zero nine. Oh no. Three two eight nine. Three two zero nine. What? Two three. Zero, nine. I fucked up. The mission's not over, which means someone will come back out. There will be another attempt, I think. Um, I swear that, that was 3209. Or 2309, but both were wrong. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have another door. <gasps> we were not efficient enough, so let's try this door. Oh, hang on. Is that someone that's alive? Hold on. Is that another hostage? No, it's just someone sat down. Okay. Too many goddamn protected lights, dude. Too bright in here. I'm I'm very visible, but the light meter says I'm not. Holy fuck! Okay. GPS shows you within a stone's throw of the compressor. Get ready to move once you've thrown it. The men coming out of that sub aren't going to be happy. You're underestimating my charm. I'm just trying to fit in. Watch yourself. I love, uh, I love Sam Fisher's voice actor. So Michael Ironside, I think it is. Such like a, it's just such a, it's smooth. It's, you know, it's, he's got a voice that's like a smooth whiskey. You know, that's how I can put that one into words, I think. camera has a large turning circle. And everything is fucking lit up. Are there any guards in here? Alright, red laptop. I see it. That's always the... Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! My knee is right on that laser. Holy shit. Okay. 
Good thing we can jump. Holy fuck. Okay. That was almost... Game over, man. Alright. I don't think there's any guards in here. I think we're good. Compressor activated. Forced combat. Forced combat. Alright, they're on the bottom floor, so they're coming up the top. Okay. I should be able to hide, I reckon. I reckon I should be able to hide. I'm going to try commit to hiding in this corner. I think that's easier than trying to escape. I need to get a med kit though. No way he's coming right for me. No way. He's oh, the whole time just staring directly at me, dude. That's our limit. One more alarm and I'm aborting the mission. Oh, come on. Like, that alarm doesn't even count. They activated that one when the alarm was... They were already alarmed, Lambert. Come on. I can't believe Lambert called that. That's so rude. Well, we're on one more alarm. These guys are going back home, though. Bro, what? Where's he going? What's he doing with his life, you reckon? Oh, that is a really weird thing for him to be on. So where does he go from here? Oh, then there's another dude there. He goes in there. <gasps> Flares. <sighs> Alright, well that submarine's coming up. hurts to have to stand in front of this door to get it to open. Especially when there's a guard in this hallway. <laughs> Fucking hell. Especially when there's a guard in this hallway. I'm, I'm just waiting for an alarm, so that's why I, I, I killed him because, to be honest, I gave up. Because I thought that was going to be game over. I hear footsteps, I'm pretty sure. Oh. I've got the corpse here. Well, again, as soon as I saw the gun poke through the door, dude, and I was like, Ugh. ooh, okay. So, uh, anyway, proceeding as planned, um, where do I go from now? I, I guess I need to go back outside. Those guards came from the uh, bottom floor, right? Pretty sure. And they came through a particular door. Oh my dear lord. Well. I feel like we're going to be doing a lot of killing in this, uh, this here episode. Sheesh. 
Please go in the door. Don't come down here. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I was like, ah, don't come down here, please. Go in the door, both of you. And you. Nice. Okay. Perfect stealth. Now I feel like it was. It should be this door on the this here. I feel like this is where we. we oh shit. Oh shit, I'm seen. No fucking way. No fucking way. No shot. No shot. The tension in Splinter Cell gets me fucking horny, dude. I like, guess unbelievable. Fantastic work. That was unbelievable. <laughs> Woo! Holy shit! I was like, I'm seen, man. There ain't no way. I've been seen in. Uh, I've been seen in different situations that have been like so similar to that, where they get so close to me that they just detect me, like almost seemingly on proximity. I feel like they were brushing up against my leg hairs. I brushed their clothes with my leg hair. Oh, a flawless mission, as always. Um, no failures, no alarms, uh, no deaths, no kills. Uh, have you come to expect anything less than perfection? Because you got it. Um, so it just kicks you back to the to the main menu once you've finished with that. Uh, so I'm not sure how long each mission is. Uh, we've done this one in about half an hour. I'm not sure how long each one is. So, what if we just fuck around and and do the submarine as well? Because it looks like it continues, because we're now going into the submarine, and then I guess Colossal must be tied to that as well. So, let's continue in uh, Zvelka Submarine. Alright, we are aboard the Zvelka. January 26, 2005. Colonel Alexievich's men have taken control of the Zelka in her birth and are attempting to acquire the warheads from several SSN-20 Sturgeon nuclear missiles. The main computers on the bridge of the sub must be accessed to determine whether or not the warheads have been offloaded. I'm in. Let's go. Fisher, Grimm's daughter needs you to get inside the communication room. There's a central server inside you'll need to tap into. Can I ask why? As long as you don't expect an answer. The nature of the agency. Be good. <laughs> May I ask why? Yeah, sure. No answer will be given, though. Alright, we're in a submarine. Cool. Unlock the access to the lower decks. Tap into the Zvelka's current uh, central server. Lower deck access controls are located on the bridge, and the servers are located on the lower decks. Okay. Go to the bridge, then go to the lower decks. Gonna be hard tracking where those footsteps are coming from. Uh, oh, we have more stuff now. We got more smoke grenades. Or do we? Yeah, because we don't have any gadgets. So there's no lock picking, no camera jamming, no optical cable of any kind. Okay, no frag grenade or flares. So we do have a different inventory. Okay. I don't think we can open doors. Nothing pops up anyway, at least for now. This is cool. A stealth mission on a submarine. Pretty neat. Is this the bridge? Yep, I've unlocked the access to the lower decks. Okay. Jaro, regardless of their uniforms, these guys are not Russian soldiers. I'm going for help. I'm going to try 
a subaquatic exit through the forward torpedo tubes, I patched the launch controls with a bit of code that will automate the hatch sequencing on a 150 second timer. That should be enough to make it from the launch computer to the hatch, assuming they haven't anticipated an escape through the tubes and put a bunch of guards in the torpedo room. Wish me luck. Alright, they're busy on the computers. They're busy typing away. We will proceed with our mission. Uh, this door? Okay. Uh huh. Whoa! What is that? Whoa! Okay. We're in trouble. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Okay. I might have to do it. I have to do it. He was coming right for me. <laughs> put him in that, put him in that infirmary. There's a dude that goes in there, so I have to. I'm gonna have to just leave this dude in the light, unless. See, I almost thought we were gonna. Where I would have to drop down there. I was almost gonna hang from the ledge and drop down, which might be a possibility. I've gotta find a dark spot to put this guy. Why did he do that? <laughs> Why did he do that? Oh. Who is that? Um, that's no one. That's no one, sir. This guy's been knocked out. No, he hasn't. I hesitated. Get out of the way. I hesitated. I hesitated because I wanted to shoot him in the head with an airfoil round, but like it just wasn't it just wasn't gonna happen in the way that I wanted it to. I messed up. Which is such a pain because I was such a pain. Surely that should be both of them, right? Uh, did something just launch from the tubes? Oh, why isn't this another one? Wow. Where did I, I didn't expect there to be a... Oh, God, I need better spatial awareness. I was like, hell yeah, that was a great grenade. And then, bam, another dude. Just when you least expect it. Another dude. Who did that? Who did that? I'm so confused about what's just happened. He spotted me, but then he was stuck in performing the action of turning on the light. <sighs> of course there just had to be another guy there as well. Oh, yeah. Of course there had to be another guy. Just when you least expect it. Another guy. 
eh, eh, eh. annoying. But I only got myself to blame. dead guys again. Okay, I did try to see if we could jump down here before when we got caught that time. It didn't work, so it, that would have been cool. That would have been a cool way to do it. Alas. Might be able to do it from here if we could go down another level, but I think that's probably it. Mighty close. Gotta wait for him to walk to the other side of the hallway. Who's out there? That's frustrating. I've got a man on guard. That's really frustrating. Of course, like I miss first bullet. Miss. Staring right at it, miss. <laughs> Just end my fucking pitiful existence, bro. Just end it all. Shotgun right to the face. Just, yep, I have accepted my fate. This was cursed from the get-go. I'm like, oh, I'm going to sneak into that room. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. All right. Remember, you can knock them out with sticky cameras. But we can also do this. And just bypass the whole need to go into that one room, which was a mistake to make. We're gonna leave him be. I think he has a computer that we can interact with, but we're gonna leave him be. Ammo storage, and that is key. Yourself. 
the very next thing that I was just about to do after checking to see where he was, was shoot out this light. It was literally the on my to-do list. As soon as I picked up that med kit, I'm like, cool, I'm gonna now shoot out the hallway light. Fucking spotted me immediately. <laughs> All right. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be a flawlessly executed plan. Who is that? Eat my own fucking hat. Flawlessly executed plan. Oh, we got everyone active. Okay. Maybe I'm crazy. Always a way too thin, dude. Oh Christ! Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that's because I, I stepped back just a little too far, didn't I? I did indeed step back a little bit too far. Not a very uh, stealthy silhouette, there, is it? Not a lot of uh, room to, for me to go, blood, go up against a wall. Pills. Are you taking the pills? They help me sleep, but they don't stop the nightmares. To kill so many, so easily. Forget about them. They were sailors and soldiers, men who chose to live by the gun. They should not have been surprised to likewise die. I wonder if I can sneak past this guy who's staring right at us by being in the dark. I wonder. Otherwise, I was like, I'll knock him out with the smoke grenade, but I'm like... We're just seeing ghosts, dude. Sergeant Mikhailov, while I appreciate your concern for Colonel Alexevich, I detect a questioning tone in your previous mail. 
This tone is not appropriate, and if I hear it again, I will have you removed. You will maintain the morale of your men, as is your duty. You will await the arrival of Aleksevich as ordered, and deliver him to the Zelka immediately upon his arrival. You will also complete all duties assigned to you, regardless of the fact that the Colonel is late. You have not been asked to think about your orders, only to execute them. Spend your intellectual efforts coming up with a way to perform all duties assigned to your men, rather than questioning those who have honored you through assigning those duties. Okay. Come out and die! <laughs> As expected. We're just gonna do it from back here because obviously my checkpoint is literally on me getting seen uh, before I open up that hatch. Gave you a choice to turn around, and you didn't take it, buddy. You did not take the opportunity to turn around. I am going to take the opportunity to do frozen on some of the walls. this. Are you taking the pills? They help me sleep, but they don't stop the nightmares. To kill so many. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yep. That also affects me. Who would have thought? They are now asleep. Sleepy time. Forced nap time. There we go. Forced nap time. Could have shot out those lights, but there's three of them. Oh. Why is this the way that it is? Okay. Um, so, I came off the ladder and just made a bunch of noise. So that was awesome. So I, I didn't really get a choice there. <laughs> Probably could have done that a little bit better. By not moving. And not existing. I wasn't even here. Alright. Uh... So be careful when I get off. There we go. Okay, crouch down. Do it on the computer. Oh. Yeah, okay. That's a problem. He only turns it on when he goes down there. That makes sense, because the lights are off here, uh, on here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, hi. Okay. This is a this is my singular diversion camera. That's gonna do this one. My singular diversion camera, because the grenade alerts them, but this one doesn't. No way. Somebody's been attacked. No way. No way. No way. I thought that would take out all of them. I thought that would take out the group. Damn. I thought that would have taken out the... I thought that would have taken out the whole group. I thought that was decently placed between them, the three of them. <sighs> okay. It is not. Who's 
Who's out there? I was moving, like, I was moving so stealthily. <laughs> I was moving so slowly. Not slow enough. I must have been moving just a bit too close. And he heard my footsteps on the grating. Now, however... You know what? Um, um, knowing that there's another guard in there makes this very interesting. Alright. There must be an angle to get all of them in one. Okay, that was the better angle. Wait, what? I've got a man unconscious. He brushed it off. No fucking way. He brushed it off? What the fuck? Okay. See ya. You're all getting Where fucking... Are you, America? You're all getting fucking smoked out then. What the fuck? How did he survive that? He just... He was just like, ah. Ugh. Ugh. It was... Ugh. <laughs> These guys been knocked out. <laughs> My god, dude. Hey, big owl. Look, when it comes to giving you the tools you need to penetrate the clunky architecture of outdated Soviet transistor-based computers, I'm your man. But I just ain't interested in helping you detonate nukes. Nukes? Messy. Computers? Clean. Get it? You can come up here to this hellhole and scream at me all you want about your evil master plan, but I wouldn't waste your breath. I'll help you get in. I'll work and help you sell them, but I'm not one of those techno-nihilists you read about on hacker forums, and I ain't gonna help you actually detonate a nuke. If you blow up all the world's computers, you'll put me out of work. Remember the part where I told you I was in this for the money? Man, I can't believe we haven't got caught yet. Crazy. Crazy times where nobody survives getting gassed. They just all get passed out and nobody gets alerted. I didn't have to shoot anybody. At all. <laughs> My god. Alright, time before the storm checkpoint. Let's go. Okay, we've got the signal. Can you trace it, Grim? I might even be able to read it. Looks like a video signal. Yup. There. Lambert. Fantastic. Fisher, time for you to make yourself sc- um. So we are here. Where is this intruder? Shh. He's got to be close by. What exactly did you see? A shadow that didn't have anything casting it. Just keep your eyes- A shadow that didn't have anything casting it. And I was in a good position because holy fuck. Good thing they spawned in past these bodies so nobody got alerted. Holy shit. Um, what do I do now? Do we just go back the way we came? Ah, hang on. Initiate a launch sequence for a torpedo. Exfiltrate the submarine through a torpedo hatch. I need to exfiltrate the submarine. But also, I need to do a launch sequence. The submarine seems to have submerged. The torpedo tube hatch sequence can be automated from the launch computers to make a subaquatic extraction. Sofron, you're right. They aren't friendly. Get the hell off this boat. I don't know if your torpedo hatch plan worked, but if you ever get this mail, please advise us. I'm following you. I'm outside the launch control room now, but it's heavily guarded, so I don't know if you managed to get your program to work or not. I'm going to try going in through a vent over the ceiling. With any luck, one of us will make it out of here. Vent over the ceiling. This is the torpedo control room. Is it this one now? Can I? Oh, I can use this computer now. 
Did I not do it? Use it before and it just didn't do anything. Watch out, Fisher. He's got incoming. Oh god. Oh, you see that fucking grenade? All right, I don't feel so bad now. Force combat segment. Med kit, please. Yes. All right, I need to get out of here. All right, I don't feel bad about killing people now because we're in a force combat scenario. Oh wait, hang on. Exfiltrate the submarine through a torpedo hatch. Wait, I don't need to. I'm about to go the wrong way. Hold on. A vent over the ceiling. With any luck, one of us will make it out of here. All right, actually, hold on. Ah, oh. there it is. Oh, this is how we could have got a cr gotten past the, the whole room. Oh. Um. This is the electronics room. And they're still in here. I'm on a time limit here, guys. So this is the control room, but where's the actual torpedoes being shot from? As soon as this time pressure has been put on me, my brain has stopped working. Is it not these things? Oh man. This is just the electronics room, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to go, so um, I fucked it. <laughs> I mean, I discovered a vent, but it just took me over the room. Um, so, woo! Explosion time! Because I sucked. Oh, it's right there! Oh my god, it's right there! <laughs> oh, as soon as it... I, I saw that there's a door open now. Okay, there's a door open now. Okay. I have my answer. Okay, we've got the signal. Can you trace it, Grim? I might even be able to read it. Look That's also crazy that we have a, um... There. Just a way across Remember, past Grim. those guards. Fisher, time for you to make yourself... Skipping the whole thing. So we are here. Where is this intruder? He's got to be close by. What exactly did you see? A shadow that didn't have anything Shadow that didn't Just have anything to cast open. it. Huh. Uh, I'm wearing my fucking squeaky shoes, I think. I'm wearing my squeaky shoes today, I swear to god. Watch out, Fisher! You've got incoming! You sound surprised. Okay, this door being open right here is exactly what we want to do. Ah, new pathway. Okay, here we go. Hey, thing back up. Got it. That was close. Please, can you go? Oh. 
so blurry in the distance. Night vision blurs things out in the distance. It's weird. Oh, that's not the one. stuck. Yeah. Alright, I did it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was messy. Launch me out of the torpedo, please. Boom. You'll be delivered via STV. <laughs> now we're going to Shadow Moses Island. Launched out of a torpedo. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> that now takes us to the Cola Cell which is the third and final DLC mission. Now, we're going to keep up our flawless streak and jump right into the third and final mission of Splinter Cell. All right, here we are, the abandoned factory, the Kola Peninsula in Russia, January 19th. Third echelon monitoring has pinpointed one of Nikolaj's remaining cells in an abandoned factory on the Kola Peninsula in northern Russia. Among those suspected to be present is Philip Mass, He's still around, the computer programmer whose algorithms empowered Nikolaj's information attacks. A sample of this code must be collected and Philip Mass must be neutralized. Let's get this loose end, shall we? All right. Fisher, we've got an okay from the Joint Chiefs for Grim's daughter's plan. Crazy. All you'll need to do is Crazy. get Mass onto his terminal. I'll take care of the rest. What do we got with us today? We have good gear. We got gadgets. No items. Locate and access Mass's server. Force him to download his personal source code from his office PC and kill him after downloading his source code. Do not kill or incapacitate Philip Mass prior to forcing him to download the code. Looks like a nerd. Confirmed. AKA Crystal Ninja. Seerber. Seerbery. I don't know what, how to say that. Marvin Kurzweil. Canadian. Flees Canada after RCMP closed credit card scam. Breach of CIA internal network. Successful for 114 seconds. We have read this already. I remember reading that really early on in the game, actually. Let's infiltrate. Love the cobweb physics. So cool. Alexievich. How close is he? By helicopter. What sort of stories? <laughs> God help us all. The Georgians are in a panic over the reports from Akhtiari. The colonels are at each other's throats. I can hardly wait. If nothing else, he has a good Russian name. Alexievich. I like him already. <laughs> you too. Some music coming in. Alright, that light's protected. Okay. Who is that? What? Oh god. How many lights is in that fucking light thing? You know whenever you think it might be one light and it turns out it's like six hundred? Oh he saw me too. Okay. This is a this is a disaster. I'm gonna restart. Uh, how, woo -hoo. <laughs> perfect. You're like, ah, oh, perfect. We, we will just just destroy the light, and it'll be fine. Nope. I'll take care of the rest. Okay. Oh, we're just skipping past the whole phone call. Okay, that's fine with me. Ah, uh, maybe. Sievich, how close is he? By He's helicopter. 
It's got the phone call here instead because we, sort of I guess, got here earlier. <laughs> God help us all. The Georgians are in a panic over the reports from Akhtiari. The colonels are at each other's throats. I can hardly wait. If nothing else, he has a good Russian name. Alexeyevich. I like him already. You too. Oh, he's going even further in. Okay. Is he going to turn around or is he going to go forward? I had the perfect time to... This is the perfect window for me to go through there and then he turns around. That was a massive window. I'm invisible here though, according to the light, the light meter. Oh, okay, he's not coming back down this way. Okay. Gotta be quick then. Computer there. Hmm. <sighs> He's like right there though at the door. Makes things very problematic. Let's try go left first. Retina scanner I can interact with this and straight up looks like I can climb over that. Is that even? Oh no, it is glass. There, there is a reflection there. I was like, it doesn't even look like it's. All right. Let's just try this first. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, what just happened? Oh, okay. I was like, there's a weird delay. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, that that pattern is brutal. That of those lasers going in and out, absolutely brutal. Oh, there's a. Okay, hang on a minute. I set that off before. That makes sense. Okay. Right. Ah, that's what that noise was when I walked through last time, which means uh, every time you walk through one, it activates and shuts the doors. Right. Okay. So now all the doors are open because we haven't activated light source. Cool. We got this off knocking out that guard from before. Cancer of the retina. Makar. No, I don't think that our new night vision headsets can give you eyeball cancer. Night vision goggles work by amplifying the existing levels of light. They don't fire rays into your eyeballs as though your retinas are some kind of television screen. Once your psychophantic little gimp gets the networks up and running, I'll sneak onto one of the terminals and get the specifications for the goggles from the manufacturer so you can see for yourself. <laughs> okay, I think I figured it out. Mass is getting on my back to move the boxes out of the hallway. At the same time, he's screaming at you to bring the boxes up there so you can fill the bags inside them with water from the server room. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't this mean that no matter what we do, one of us is going to get screamed at? The only solution I can think of is to jump him in the bathroom and give him a good working over. I've got an extra pair of socks if you can dig up some oranges. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, Alright, we don't have to go through death, death room. This one's still closed, though, so... Retinal scanner room is still a no-go. But if we go over this side... I believe that there was another... sliding door. Yes. Nice. Okay. Assuming it's locked, and it is locked. I figure that's it's quicker to just fucking try the lockpick instead of trying the door, then getting the lockpick, then doing the lockpick. Just try the lockpick first, and then easy peasy. That's, that was a hard one too. That was every tier. Yeah, I was just a kid at the time. I think my second year with the Spetsnaz. Was Gringo new? No, no, that guy saw action in Afghanistan. He's been I didn't even need to turn that light ages. off. That's so going to attract their attention. Who's well, there? Yeah, it just interrupted their conversation. Because they're like, oh, the light's off. I was like, one or both? Only one. <laughs> and then the guard's like, what was that? Imagine if Splinter Cell also tuned into your microphone. Okay, these guys suck. They're just going to stay in the same spot. That is really annoying. Okay. Here we go. I need both of you, please. Okay. You go do that. Somebody's been attacked. They're unconscious. Oh. What if you just didn't face that way? That would have been nice. What if you didn't face me and just just kind of chilled out and let me smack you over the back of the head? That was the plan. Okay.
See? I may as well just start with... Oh, it's lock jammed. Both of them are jammed. Must you be this fucking god damn dude? I was just a kid at the time. I think my second year with the Spetsnaz. Was Gringo new? No, no, that guy saw action in Afghanistan. He's been in the game since the 80s. So the first two drugs? Well, the first ended up in a coma. The other one, Gringo broke off three of his fingers. Jesus. And the third? Blinded him with a spoon. Gross. He's going down even further, and he's turning around, okay. He did not even acknowledge the... Did he go investigate? Is he... What? Did he even acknowledge that? Speechless. Seriously? Yeah, I was just a kid at the time. I think my second year with the Spetsnaz. Was Gringo new? No, no, that guy saw action in Afghanistan. <laughs> Show yourself. Oh wow, one still. The fact that there's no checkpoint so far, we're still, like, the only checkpoint is still at the beginning of the game, makes this, uh, you're much more inclined to push forward <laughs> like that. <laughs> Gavriel. I'm not sure you're old enough to remember this, but way, way back in the 90s, your government lost the Cold War and any notion that communism may have been a good idea went away. What this means to you is when I ask you to move the damn boxes, it means to move them now. Don't wait until after your coffee break. Don't wait until you get authorization from your ombudsman. Pick up the damn boxes and move them. This is not a labor union. You do not control the means of production. You do what I tell you or you don't get paid. Have the boxes out of the hallway leading to the server room within the hour or I'll get Nikolai to cut your tongue out with a pair of garden shears. How pleasant. Now we've got a door. And we've got this. Let's check this. Where's this going? Oh, wow. Huh. Can you get back up there from here? 
I wonder. Interesting. So that doesn't actually go anywhere. So we want to go over here. That's a very neat little trick. Okay. Oh, it's not locked. Dude, right there. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy crap. That scared the crap out of me, him being around the corner like that. Holy crap. That spooked me. Wait it out. Okay, let's try again. Uh, so they both okay. That's not right. <laughs> I've got a man unconscious. What? He was right in it. He was right in the smoke. He was definitely right in the smoke. That's crazy. He's just pointing at me. Like he's just... We're not even in alarm state, but his gun is locked on me. Even though he's not even waking up his pal. Which is really interesting actually. He's locked in. Oh. He's completely ignoring his friend. We lost him. Yeah, he's completely ignoring him. What the fuck? Who's out there? Oh, you're not gonna go and investigate. Okay. You're not gonna investigate the bottle. You're gonna look around the corner at me instead. Cool. Very cool, thank you. Love that. Not locked, cool. Camera. Oh, it's, it's being cheeky and trying to grab me from all the way over here. It's trying to see me through boxes. Look at that. Oh, it's being real cheeky. Look at that. Every time it keeps going over that side. What the fuck? Okay. That is a alarm right there. Oh, there better not be. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there better not be anyone in here when I'm jumping over this. Oh, that was 
really close. Oh look, the server room is not doing so well, is it? Okay, so we got a passageway through there. Um, those servers don't look entirely waterproof. Oh, we Okay, there's a vent there. I'm genuinely surprised about the uh, lack of checkpoints in this level. They're usually pretty frequent with the checkpoints. We There is none in this. If you fail, you start at the beginning of the level again. Okay, so this is... yep. Um, why do I want to be here? Um, I am assuming that the water would be... like... Are we not allowed to walk on the water? Is that what the deal is here? Can I just... No, we're okay. Really alert! I found the body! Ooh. It took this long to get the checkpoint. Ah, that's why, that's why it's here. This is Colonel Alexeyevich, acting commander. All personnel to full alert. We have enemy forces on site. Possibly multiple hostiles, definitely armed. All personnel to full alert. We have an intruder, and I want his head on a spike. Okay, so we're using Alexievich's retinal pattern uh, on that door. Okay. And he's in. That's what Alex look Alexievich looks like. Relevant history. Starting here, weekly deposits to the Swedish bank account of uh, Wadislav Efros. Sorry, our intelligence on this guy's a little light. A lot of it is outside your clearance. Think of him as a Soviet Darth Vader. I don't know if anybody's had the guts yet to tell him that the USSR collapsed. Eyes only. My car, how many times do I have to tell you that the retinal scan is configured for Colonel Alexievich's retina only? Do not go sticking your face in that thing. Besides, it's dangerous, you know? All those rays beaming into your eyeballs, it's likely that you'll get retinal cancer. <laughs> those scanners are even worse. Uh, that night vision gear for that sort of thing. Uh, that's why that dude thinks that you're going to get cancer from the thing, because Philip told him. Alright, we need Alexievich's uh, beautiful eyeballs. I've got a situation! Have I been seen? Give up. We have you surrounded. I've been seen? It's in pitch it's pitch black. How did I get seen? I was walking super slowly. Cola cell is really difficult. The checkpoints are uh, I'm only on my first checkpoint. Uh it's it, the really difficult this one. We have enemy forces. The AI are behaving super weirdly. Multiple hostile, definitely armed. Okay. All personnel to full alert. We have an intruder, and I want his head on a spike. Do they? Oh, if it's pitch black, do they have? Uh, do they have lights? They have torches. Is that how I got seen? I'm not seeing any light whatsoever, dude. This 
Oh, they've got night. Yeah. Okay, they've got night vision goggles on. <sighs> okay, that makes that makes more sense. They are fucking equipped. They've got the eye cancer. Nice. Okay. You guys can go check in there. And I'm gonna leave. And this camera is a problem still. Surprise, surprise. I'm just gonna back away slowly. And you were none the wiser, camera. Goodbye. Fisher. You've got a Georgian colonel named Alex Savage incoming. I know, I need his eyeballs. Why have we not passed the checkpoint? Sir, oh, uh, he's literally right here. Okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. There's a bunch of bodies lying around in this room. Don't second guess me, Tovarish. Yes, sir. There's a bunch of bodies lying around in this room. They're going to see them all. Yeah. You know what we might just go for? Oh, you're gonna wake him up, aren't you? What if you just did that? Okay, what if we didn't do wake-ups? Okay, no, no, no. No wake-ups. Okay? We, we permanent sleep. Permanent sleep. Okay. Who's there? Wow, how the fuck am I supposed to- how the- how am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to get over here, back in here? With Alexievich. I found the body. Oh no! I was supposed to grab him. I was supposed to grab him, not the body. We were so close to grabbing him. That kind of annoys me that it went for the body instead. Ah, it's just a shame that we need him alive, isn't it? If only you could still do a retinal pattern, even if they were dead. <laughs> Carve out an eyeball with a spoon. It's a shame. Um, yeah, he spots us real quick, so I guess you have to use like a... It would make sense to maybe use a... Glass bottle to like, throw it somewhere and distract him. Can you please do this correctly, Sam? This way. He's gonna see the bodies up here as well. He just doesn't care about them right now. What if I just quickly take care of that problem and just... This area is clear. Can't wake him up if they're already dead, Alexievich. Alright, now he will go back to normal. I think. Man down, he's dead. I found the body. Congratulations, you did. You're very clever. Now I'm gonna need you to just chill out, please. Why are you going over there? Oh, I'm really confused at how we're meant to do this and drag him neck all the way down to the retinal scanner because we need to also open a door as well and drag him through an area unless that door is now automatically just going to stay open. Damn it, we lost him. Unless that door is just going to... The, the door that I'm talking about is going to stay open. I'm confused. I don't know how it's going to work. Use his retinal pattern. Okay. Do I have to, like, lure him through... I'm wondering if I could, like, lure him through... Oh, the door just stays open. Nice. No worries, then. In that case, I'm gonna do this. And that should attract his attention to come down to turn the light on. Who did that? Yes. Correct. So he will now come 
after we turn the light on, we will grab him and we will drag him through. Well, we better hope that there's no armed guards in the way, Alexievich. Because, uh... Okay, there is. Ooh! Okay, hold on. Is this how we're going to play this? Human shield time. Holy fuck. Cozy? You cozy in here, Alexievich? You cozy and quiet. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Good thing they turned off the alarms in this room. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble. <sighs> Longest retinal scanner mission ever. Holy fuck. <sighs> oh. He's a very quiet boy. Very well behaved. Holy crap. Alright. Surely checkpoint. Like, surely. Thank you. Holy fuck. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Time to force Hacker Man to use his computer. This is a fancy building. Alexeyevich thinks the Americans are coming. They will, eventually. Let them. Don't be an ass. They're just chilling with night vision goggles on in there. Oh, he's in this room. Okay. Way. Shoot! Shoot, you incompetent buffoons! Crap! Can't think surrounded by you drooling troglodyte communists! You did not worry. What? What was that, Nikolai? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing. Force him to do that. He'll just run and piss his pants, I think.
That was pretty good. Except for Nikolai right behind me. Like, the fact that we slipped right in there, not a peep. That was pretty good. So, as soon as we do that, it's going to automatically set off these dudes. And they're going to... They're going to wipe us out. So, I'm thinking... Oh, it's jammed. You can't do anything about that yet. Okay, so it'll be a forced combat section. Alright, let's have fun then, shall we? Ooh, I don't have a lot of health. There's wall mines that you can pick up. Just stay out of my way. Shoot! Shoot, you incompetent buffoons! Oh, wow. Crap. Can't think surrounded by you drooling troglodyte communists. You did not worry. What? What was that, Nikolai? Did you say something? Nothing. We could pick up those wall mines, go back up, place the wall mines. I genuinely think that is an insane amount of work. And instead... Do. So I'm going to take out Nikolai. Okay, never mind. It's the thought that counts. What? What was that, Nikolai? Did you say something? Nothing. He's just gonna go and hide. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. So he's just gonna go and hide. Now, while he does that, we're going to quickly go on a little wall mine excursion. Now, there is a extraction to be done, so that's gonna be interesting. This is gonna be our first time actually using these, so let's actually consult the the old thingy. Select wall mine, right trigger, place it. Um, and then I would say... I would say one each over here would be fine, because they'll open the door, it'll move. They should go boom boom. over to your computer and we are going to make you use it those guys will get blown up Got them all. Oh wait, hang on, there's still combat music. It's just now suspicious. The combat music wrapped up though, so I was like, okay, we're done. <laughs> Alright, but he is done. I now have to reach extraction. I don't know where that is, because we do not have a map. 
Alas, no map. Make it back alive to the insertion. Oh, make it back alive to the insertion point. Back where we came from, baby. In and out. Those wall mines, huh? Pretty fucking fun. Well... Um, I gotta... Okay. Is there even anyone alive? It's playing the suspicious music. Weird. Alright, I always wanted to see where this goes. I wonder if this is just going to be a shortcut straight to the... Oh! This is this place, right? Oh, and that's this room. Okay, it all makes sense now. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. That takes us back to this spot. Perfect. How dare you. That definitely went in. Ooh, hello. good. We're golden. Make it back to the insertion point for extraction. There it is. This mission was really difficult, but very rewarding. I made it. Mission complete me. I did it. I'm climbing on the fence. Let me in. Hello. I'm back. Please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you to let me. Let me. Let me back in. What the fuck? Do I have to... Should I be going through that? I didn't know that that was even possible. Oh, hang on. I just thought it would instantly go... Ah, oh, I just thought it would instantly go mission complete as soon as you enter this room. Alright, there you go. <laughs> I was like, let me out! <laughs> That's the three DLC missions for Splinter Cell. Uh, this one was longer, but uh, the two uh, Zvelka ones were shorter, so we are able to condense that all into one video instead of three, because I didn't know how long the levels were going to be. So there you go, bonus episode with all of the DLC. And that brings the Splinter Cell playthrough to a close. Thank you so much for watching this series. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've uh, enjoyed seeing my learning curve and then watching myself plummet into chaos as if I've learned nothing, but still being the master at stealth every single time, you know? It really is just commendable how uh, we did a no kill, no stealth, uh, no stealth alerts playthrough it was i think that's a guinness world record for a first time player uh so thank you so much for joining me through uh through this journey <laughs> but real talk uh real talk it's been super fun to go from being uh an idiot to a not as much of an idiot and i'm really looking forward to pandora tomorrow the next splinter cell game to see how we can sort of put what we've learned in this first game and apply it right at the beginning of that one gonna be super fun so hope you've enjoyed the playthrough stay tuned pandora tomorrow will be coming to the channel very shortly subscribe to stick around and see when it drops please and thank you and i'll see you next time <laughs>